welcome to this video, Boy Who Paints, and I'm going to show you how to paint a cat sitting on a couch eating a Chipotle burrito. To start, uh, mixing together a lot of blues, ultramarine blue, ivory black. I threw in some of that alizarin crimson. So I'm just getting in like the kind of background areas. So the overall painting's pretty dark. So I just go through and pretty much filling in everything. I'm using that really loose brush just to fill in larger areas more quickly. Keep things kind of loose. Everything that's like dark, I'm filling in like I even did his tail there. And getting the background, a little more background, added some yellow ochre. Those are like some pillows and stuff in the background. Even like parts of the cat that are actually dark too. And then I jump over to the bag here. Guys, switch to burnt umber, black, maybe a little lizard and crimson, and then a yellow ochre. And then there I kind of started adding more yellow ochre and more white. Get like the highlight on the bag there. Then I jump over to the cat. And see I switched brushes there and I, I basically just needed something a little bit tighter to get in like the details of the cat's face. And then you can see there I even switched to a smaller brush to um, put in those lines and even the eyes which I was kind of surprised worked with that size of a brush. Start jumping around here a little bit. I'm just kind of looking for similar tones. You can see, like when I did the his um, crotch area, I used that same color for like the burrito. So I just where I see something that is used in one place and use it in somewhere else, it makes things a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, especially if it's like the same color. And then uh, you can see here, got everything filled in. I just, I kind of do this just because everything at this point is really tight. And then uh, just to make it looser and a little bit more lifelike because those edges weren't too hard. So yeah, I go around like the whole thing. Kind of just like scratching around so those lines aren't as tight. And then here, I come back, so this is kind of like the second pass, everything is already filled in. I come in and like notice some spots that were um, not dark or light enough or dark enough, so I'm like fixing up the tone or whatever you call it, I always forget that thing's called. Either like darker or lighter. So here I switch to an even smaller brush, so it's still on the second pass doing more details so then I use that small brush to jump in and start uh, cleaning up the face a little bit adding more details so I'm using that small brush and that uh, the other small brush that I was using originally on the face Here I jump over, start working on the bag again. Just adding, uh, be adding that Chipotle text. And I'm using, <clears throat> if you saw the smaller brush I was using, yeah, there we go again. It's kind of like a, uh, I think you call it like a flat, but it's just really sharp edges. So I almost like kind of chisel in the Chipotle writing there, and then I jump into the background again because I got kind of annoyed with that bag and I'm just like filling out some of the background like pillow texture and stuff and then I jump over here to the burrito 
Burrito is actually kind of tricky. Uh, there's a lot going on in a burrito if you've never painted the inside of one. And I jump over to the bag again and I'm doing the text. If you've ever seen a Chipotle bag, you know that okay, like to do this. Yeah, using that small brush. Using it like a, I guess like a chisel, like I said already again. Um, just like filling out the straighter lines. I started using uh, Laser and Crimson and Ultramarine Blue and then I just switched to black. Went over to the burrito again. And uh, the tin foil. Yeah, this was, I mean, yeah, it was really tricky. Um, there's so much going on inside a burrito I didn't realize. Then I grabbed this other really soft brush and I was using that to go in and make the edges not as hard. Here it is. Pretty much done. I might go in and make some small corrections, but for the most part I was pretty happy with it. So thanks for watching my video of how to paint a cat eating a burrito sitting on a couch. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And follow me on Instagram for more entertaining paintings. Thanks.